Spix's macaw, also known as the little blue macaw, is a macaw species that was endemic to Brazil. It is a member of tribe Arini in the subfamily Aranae, part of the family Cytisidae. It is a highly endangered species of parrot. The last known wild Spix's macaw disappeared in 2000. However, a small number of birds were captured earlier for captive breeding programs. Their population is estimated to be around 150 individuals, living in several conservation institutions around the world. Spix's macaw is known for its striking and vibrant blue coloration. The plumage of the adult Spix's macaw is predominantly a vivid shade of cobalt blue, which covers its head, body, and wings. The wings have a slightly darker hue than the rest of the body. The feathers on the back and upper surface of the wings may appear slightly iridescent, displaying shades of turquoise or teal in certain lighting conditions. The face of the Spix's macaw is adorned with a patch of bare, light gray skin around the eyes. This distinctive feature contrasts with the bird's blue feathers, adding to its unique appearance. The beak is black and curved, characteristic of most parrot species. Spix's macaw is a relatively small species of macaw, with adults typically measuring around 55 cm in length from the top of the head to the tip of the tail. The wingspan of the Spix's macaw ranges between 84 to 90 cm. In terms of weight, adult Spix's macaws generally weigh between 300 to 400 grams. However, there can be slight variations in size and weight among individuals. Its size and slender build contribute to its graceful appearance. The behavior of the Spix's macaw, like other parrot species, is influenced by its natural instincts, habitat, and social dynamics. Spix's macaws are social birds that form strong pair bonds. They are generally seen in small flocks or pairs in the wild. These macaws engage in social interactions, including vocalizations, preening, and physical contact, to maintain and strengthen their social connections. Spix's macaws are intelligent birds known for their problem-solving abilities. They have a curious nature and are often observed engaging in play behaviors, such as hanging upside down, exploring their environment, and manipulating objects with their beaks and claws. Spix's macaws are known for their vocalizations, which are varied and expressive. Spix's macaws can emit loud and raucous squawks that can carry over long distances. These squawks are often used as contact calls between flock members or to establish territory boundaries. Spix's macaws also produce various chirping sounds, which can be softer and more melodic compared to their squawks. Chirping is often used for communication within pairs or during social interactions. Spix's macaws are capable of producing whistling sounds, which can be high-pitched and clear. Whistles may serve as territorial calls or be used as a form of communication between individuals. Like many parrots, Spix's macaws can mimic a wide range of sounds, including human speech, environmental sounds, and other bird calls. This mimicry is more commonly observed in captive individuals that have been exposed to various sounds and vocalizations. Fruits make up a significant part of the Spix's macaw diet. They feed on a range of fruits, including palm fruits, such as lacuri, tucum, and macorba, as well as other fruiting trees and shrubs in their habitat. They also consume various seeds and nuts. They have strong beaks that enable them to crack open hard shells to access the nutritious contents. This includes seeds from palm trees, such as lacuri palm, which is a significant food source for the macaws in the wild.
In addition to fruits and seeds, Spix's macaws may also consume vegetation such as leaves, flowers, and stems. While vegetation may not be a primary part of their diet, they may supplement their nutritional needs by feeding on these plant parts. In their native habitat, Spix's macaws have natural predators that pose a threat to their survival. However, it's important to note that the critically endangered status of the species is primarily due to habitat loss and illegal trapping for the pet trade, rather than predation. Large raptors such as eagles, hawks, and falcons are known to prey on smaller bird species, including macaws. Although Spix's macaws are relatively large for parrots, they can still be vulnerable to predation by birds of prey, particularly when they are nesting or in flight. Some snake species found in the Kartinga region, such as large constrictors or venomous snakes, could potentially pose a threat to Spix's macaw chicks or eggs if they are able to access their nests. Predatory mammals like wild cats, foxes, or coatis may also pose a threat to Spix's macaws, particularly during their vulnerable stages. Spix's macaws have specific nesting and breeding patterns that are important for their reproduction and survival. Spix's macaws typically nest in tree cavities, specifically in large, dead, or decaying trees. The female macaw selects the nesting site, and both the male and female may work together to prepare the nest cavity by excavating it further or cleaning it out if necessary. The breeding season for Spix's macaws typically occurs during the dry season in their natural habitat, which is generally from October to February. During this period, the macaws engage in courtship behaviors and prepare for nesting. Spix's macaws form strong pair bonds and mate for life. They engage in various behaviors to strengthen their bond, including vocalizations, physical contact, mutual preening, and sharing food. The female Spix's macaw usually lays a clutch of two to three eggs, with an interval of a few days between each egg. The eggs are typically white and oval shaped. Incubation starts after the first egg is laid, and both parents take turns incubating the eggs. The incubation period for Spix's macaw eggs is approximately 28 days. During this time, the male and female share incubation duties, taking turns to keep the eggs warm and protected. Once the eggs hatch, the parents care for the chicks. Both the male and female macaws feed and protect the chicks, regurgitating partially digested food to provide nutrition. The chicks grow rapidly, and their parents continue to care for them until they fledge, which typically occurs after around 12 to 14 weeks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for even more viewing pleasure. Don't forget, like and comment. Feel free to share.